Hey, welcome, Bob here. So you guys decided you're gonna fix that leaking toilet. So you go out to the home center, you bought a new fill valve, you bought a new flapper, you bought a new tank handle, you're gonna put all these brand new parts in because you can't be bothered anymore. You get them all in, they're working great, the toilet flushes great, you're sitting down watching TV all proud of yourself, and all of a sudden you hear water running. You hear a little trickling, a little pilling of water. You go back in there, you look inside the toilet tank, everything's looking good. You flush it again, it flushes, it fills, it stops, great. You sit down, watch TV, piddle, 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 trickle, trickle, trickle. What the heck is going on? Guys, follow me into this next segment, and I'll show you the most common mistake that most homeowners make when installing a new fill valve inside their toilet tank. I think you're going to find this interesting. All right, guys, here we are. You put a new fill valve in, you put a new tank lever in, you got a new flapper in there. You went ahead and made sure the base of this flush valve is nice and smooth. You have no rough spots. It fills up. It flushes. It shuts. Perfect. You walk away. You start to hear a trickle, trickle, piddle, piddle. Guys, here's a tip. You see these rubber replenishment tubes? These tubes come quite long in the box, and most people's tendency is to shove it down inside the, the, the overflow tube. When you do that, guys, and this valve shuts abruptly, it'll actually pull water off the bottom. It'll siphon water back up through the refill valve into the overflow tube. And that's what you're hearing. You're hearing that little piddle because it's, it's taking water from the bottom of the toilet tank. These little rubber hoses belong above the overflow tube. And what you need to do is you need to cut it. And you should use the clip because most of the refill tubes come with little clips. And I'll show you, here's the, the one that was on there. If you can see the, uh, the clip on there. And you can see how I cut that, that second hose down. So by simply clipping this on like this and clipping that on like that, problem solved, guys. Everything works fine now. No more piddling. What I find most of the time when I'm called in for a leaking toilet, especially if the client tells me, I just put all new parts in, I don't understand it, what, what's going on? I'm going to go in the house and I'm going to find this tube shoved down inside of there. And as soon as I take the cover off, look down inside of there, I know exactly what it is. So that's the tip, guys. You have to cut them. You have to use the clip. You take this off. You get rid of the long one. You snip it. You cut it. You utilize the clip that comes with the refill valve, problem solved. Guys, I hope you got something out of this. I hope it solved your problem. As usual, if you have questions, you can reach me, info at bobsplumbingvideos.com. I thank you for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.